dressageclinic.com. A world of knowledge at your fingertips. The Global Dressage Forum North America, the ultimate educational experience where champions meet. Good. Keep the position right. Keep the position right. Go large. Go large. And make your circle a D and V. Make your circle a D and V. On one of the open sides, lengthen them a little bit in the canner. Lengthen a bit in the canner. Look where you're going. Go ahead. Send them on. Send them on. Send them on. Correct. Correct. And then sit in and collect a few strides, keeping him straight, getting him to sit on his haunches a bit more, stay back in your shoulders and upper body. Well done. Well done. Go large again. Go large. Very good. Very good canter. And maintain the volume of that canter. That's terrific. Terrific. Stay shoulder four. Traver down the long side, riding uphill. Keep the shoulders on the track you want to travel. That's it, haunches in. More than that, yes, like that. This is good. This is better. This is more uphill. A little more angle in the haunches in. Correct. 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 And now, let's make a circle at E and V. And I want you to ride. Before he gets a break, you can do two things. You're going to circle 20, and you're going to graduate to a smaller circle in haunches in. Haunches in. Stay sitting in. Keep the canner, keep the canner, keep the shoulders on the circle line. Yes. Stay back in your circles, uh, circles, <laughs> shoulders, <laughs> and come smaller, sit in. Just open the outside rein a bit. Go ahead. Don't look down. Don't look down. Look where you're going. And turn, and turn smaller, and smaller. Sit back, and smaller, like that, and smaller. Collecting. Yes, like that. Yes, like that. Come on out. Come on out. Beautifully done. When you find the place for a change, do so. And then we'll do the same thing in the other direction, okay? Stay sitting in. Go to B and E, please. Stay straight. Collect and collect and sit and supplement left. Fill out the right part of his neck like that. Correct. 20 meters. 20 meters. And then Traver on the diagonal line. Haunches in on the diagonal line. Stay sitting in. And maintain the collection. Maintain the collection. That's it. Elbows low. Elbows low. Open the outside rein a bit. So he has, has an outside ballast. That's it. Like that. That's it. Like that. That's it. And smaller. And collected. And smaller. And smaller. And out. Good girl. And keep him round with that outside rein. Correct. 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 And then what we're going to do is we're going to give him a break. So prepare to collect. Always think in downward transitions as if you were making a transition to... No, I have to do it again. I just have to see. You want to think as if you're going to the first stride of a canter pirouette, okay? That's the same idea as going into a shoulder in and the trot and walk. Canter left lead. Make a circle. Stay sitting in and ask in the first beat of the canter his shoulders to come left for the walk transition. And use your outside leg on the girth and your outside rein and sit and sit and walk. Good. Lovely. Lovely. Okay? So it's always like a snowflake landing. That was super. You know, we're going to leave the changes today because we did them yesterday. Yep. And we're going to do some pia passage, a little bit of um, extension. This is super. Do you have any questions? Very nice, lovely, very relaxed, very simpatico. And what that means to me is when the horse is able to access his power, and this horse has so much power, um, and when they're emotionally and mentally really in a focal point where there is the harmony because they want to do what's asked of them. You're doing a great job. So, when we get to the next part, the passage and piaf, I want to use turns in the passage and piaf. Um, we'll start with passage, and we're going to do a few medium steps and then come into the passage, okay? And then we're going to be doing passage with partial passade turns. 
You know what a Passat turn is because you've done it with me for years. Passat is like a trot pirouette. Um, you do use it in Pia Passage to develop the collection because it um, engages the horse more because they have to put more weight on the hind end to be able to do it. When you're riding the trot, when you're riding the canter, you should be able to feel everything in the gait that's there. When you're riding the trot, you should feel like you can ride the passage, the piaf, the medium trot, because the horse is that much in front of your seat engaged. So take your contact. The mistake that's made a lot of times in passage. God bless you, Red. That's made a lot of times in passage is people bring the horse back to the passage. And then there's that cessation of the forward movement because the horse basically has lost his balance. Good. Good. 360 turn on the haunches. And even though you might not do that, certainly not when you're in a test, you can still ride the aids of that to get the collection. This is so such a simple exercise and such a good one to use daily so that when we're in the test, 360 turn on the haunches, we can be doing that in a corner before we go to the walk pirouettes in the pre-St. George. We can be doing that in a corner before we come across the diagonal on the I-1 for the to get the extended walk super. So when you're ready, we'll go ahead to the trot, okay? your time. Preparations are the most important part. Yes. Yes. Love what you did. Love what you did. So through. So through. Now when you're ready, ride medium a few strides and don't sit back. Keep your hands low. Yep, that's it. And then collect forward to the bit. Forward to the bit. Yes. And then let's do a little of this on a circle. Not quite near us, a little further away from us, more up near E and D. And we're going to ride some, passa uh, excuse me, medium passage. Take your time. I know you have to work around the other people a bit. On the circle, medium, hands low. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. And then passage, think shoulder in. Passage, think shoulder in. Go ahead. Hands low. Ride up to the bit. Correct. Correct. Bring the hind legs under a bit more. Bring them under a bit more, correct, like that. Stay in the circle like that. Super, super, hands low, stay like that. Super. And then what I want you to do is make a passade turn, collect them a bit more, make a passade turn to practice putting the weight on the hind end a bit more. That's all right, that's okay, quiet, quiet. Outside leg and turn, correct like that. And turn like that, super, 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 and then trot. Come to the normal trot and reverse and go to the right. Good. Supple him in his neck. Go in the other direction. Dressageclinic.com A world of knowledge at your fingertips. Dressageclinic.com is an educational website that allows you to enter the world of dressage training through videos of top-seated international dressage trainers, writers, and lecturers. Experience the mastery of some of the world's top trainers from the privacy of your own virtual ringside seat as they guide you through all facets of dressage discipline, sharing their valuable insights and instructions. The upcoming new video section is updated each month to provide you with information on the latest training videos to be showcased on the site. The special features section gives you easy access to the training videos that are currently available online, while the search training section allows you to find videos based on a wide variety of categories. Membership to DressageClinic.com provides you with instant access to an international array of recognized trainers from the United States, Canada, Germany, Holland, Belgium, Spain, and many other countries, each sharing their knowledge on a wide variety of educational and informative subjects. The Global Dressage Forum North America, the ultimate educational experience where champions meet.